Hey, Scott Hawksworth here with you again. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to troubleshoot technical challenges when you are recording from home. So when you're recording, you are inevitably going to be dealing with a lot of technology. You have microphones, you have your computer, you have all sorts of inputs and outputs, you have your monitors, you have headphones, you have your audio interface, you have all these different electronic components and invariably you're going to come up with issues where they aren't working correctly. The computer doesn't recognize it. You have some kind of sound or distortion that you don't want. You're not getting any sound. One of my good friends, Ben Runyon, who has done tutorials for us, um, he talked about one of the biggest challenges in audio is just figuring out, okay, wh why am I not hearing anything? Where, where is, where's the sound coming from? What problem is there? So the point is, is that in technology, there is always going to be some challenges. So I think how you go about troubleshooting something is one of the most important things to get right and to figure out if you're going to really get good at recording from home. So the first thing I would say, the first tip I would give is probably the most obvious tip in the book and you've probably already done it and maybe some of you might roll your eyes and say, well, Scott, I know this, but it's, it's just such a key thing. The second you're having a problem, whatever it might be with a piece of equipment, check your connections. And what do I mean by that? Make sure, you know, if you're using an XLR mic and you have your XLR plugged in here, check your connection. Make sure, is it plugged in snugly? That's the first thing. Make sure everything's plugged in snugly. Sometimes you might find something isn't, so then, okay, you push it in further and then, then you're fine. If everything is plugged in snugly and it's still not really working, then you do the oldest trick in the book, unplug it and plug it back in. Again, I, I know this seems so elementary, but it's it's one of those things that I cannot tell you how many times I've had, a, had trouble with a piece of equipment and I've just unplugged the thing and plugged it back in and it's worked. So first thing, go for the obvious stuff, your connections. Second tip, if you're dealing with unwanted noise, any kind of distortion, any kind of hum, anything that you just wouldn't want to be captured in your recordings, consider where your microphone is actually positioned and consider what extraneous electronic items might be influencing that. So if you have a cell phone and your cell phone is sitting near that microphone, that's a no-go. Don't do that. Move your cell phone across the room, put it in your pocket, turn it off, do something so that it is not interfering with your, with your recordings. I have an example right here. So I have this monitor. When I listen to my studio speakers, if I have this monitor on, I get a signal that gets picked up and it's like a really high-pitched signal. It, I, can't, I cannot mix with that. So whenever I have to mix, I know I need to turn off and unplug my monitor and I'm only mixing on this. That's just how I, I know I have to work because I just there's just interference that's caused by that. So that's another troubleshooting tip is make sure that if you're hearing any, if, if you're having pr trouble with things getting picked up that you don't want to have picked up, go ahead and make sure that you're away from all electrical sources, that, that, you're, that you're keeping your microphones away from those sources. Notice right here, I've got my vocal shield right there and my pop filter. If I'm recording vocals, I record them over there. And in fact, I pick that stand up and I, uh, I move it over even further. That way I am so far away from my computer, from my monitor, from any kind of extra electrical interference that, that I'm not going to get any kind of distortion and things like that. So if you're dealing with unwanted distortion, check your connections, check your, check your positioning. That's, that's key. Another troubleshooting tip in general, if you are having problems, go ahead and look at your wires, especially if you have cats or something like that. I have cats. Um, if you're having any kind of trouble, make sure your wires are good. Um, I, I often recommend that the, the, your connectors your, are, are one thing you should not skimp out on when it comes to home recording. Get a good pair. You know, get, don't, don't cheap out on your, on your connections, on your wires there. But okay, so those are just general home recording you know, tips. 
unplug, plug it back in. I'd say turn it off and turn it back on. Again, that's another really obvious thing, but sometimes software gets hung up. You know, we all use different digital audio workstations. So sometimes your software will get hung up. Sometimes your connection will get up, get hung up, turn it off and then turn it back on. And sometimes that can work. Sometimes just restarting your system can work. So, okay, those are general specific tips there. But if you have to troubleshoot anything, how do you go about that in home recording? I generally think that the first thing should be check those those things I mentioned. Then second, if you have a manual, go ahead and go to the manual and see if, if you can find something there if you're having some trouble. Third, look at your system and it's time to go to Google. And the key thing here is this. Whenever you're searching for an answer, if you have a problem, number one, search the title of whatever the piece of equipment is. So this right here is a Samson C01 Studio Condenser, okay? I am going to search that. I would search that. Then I would know. I have my MacBook Pro here. It's a 2016 MacBook Pro. It's running OS uh, Mac OS X Sierra. So I would know that. I know I'm using Logic Pro. I would know what version number I, that is. And I would put these different things in a search query because the better you can be accurate. Don't just say, I have no sound in my microphone. Well, what microphone is it? I can't get my interface to work. Well, what type of audio interface is it? What's the make and model? What's your, what's your operating system? What's your, your computer type? These are all things that can make your troubleshooting go a lot faster because it will get you to the answer a lot qu more quickly if you know the exact exact software and type of equipment you're using and versions and all those kinds of things. So, okay, do that. When you find your answer, you'll find there's so many forums out there. There are so many people who have probably had this issue before um, that, that that can solve it for you. I'll give you an example. I just got this MacBook Pro a little while ago. And I was trying to hook up my audio interface. And I have an older audio interface here, one that I like to use a lot. It's a really solid audio interface. It's very small, but I don't record like full bands, so it works for me. It's an audio box USB. Well, I plugged it in, and Logic was not recognizing the interface. It was not recognizing it. So I, I, I checked my connections, I did all that, but then I finally was like, I need to search for this. So I put in audio box USB, 2016 MacBook Pro, Logic, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, I found a forum where they showed what the issue was, and I was able to discover that the only problem is, is I just need to plug the USB into like a USB hub, like a third-party hub. For some reason, going directly into the Mac is a problem for this. I hope uh, they fix that, get on that Apple. Um, and, and I was able to solve it. So that's just an example there. So my closing thought here would be also... Try to be in communities that can help you. Um, home recording forums, those are really good. Uh, homerecording.com, I believe. Uh, audioskills.com, a little plug there for, for audio skills, but that's also great. If you're a member there, we have a Facebook group um, that, that can help you with uh, some troubleshooting. Um, Reddit has a lot of, a lot of, there's Reddit, the, the audio engineering subreddit, there's the We Are the Music Makers subreddit, there's a recording music subreddit. All of these are, are great places to ask questions if you're having a specific problem. And the community is actually pretty friendly and, and they'll help you out. So again, go find some websites that you can use. Uh, Gear Sluts is another great one. Uh, you can do some, get some feedback, some technical feedback there. So bottom line, if I were to wrap all of this up when you're troubleshooting problems when you're, when you're trying to record from home, do the obvious th thing first, check your connections, all that stuff. Make sure if you do have to go to Google that you're searching for version numbers and things like that. And then last but certainly not least, get plugged into communities. Get plugged into communities that you can ask direct questions to because you'll be amazed at the, at the answers that are out there. And many of these companies, these software companies and things like that, they have support forums and things like that. You should be aware of all of these. That's how you can do it. I, I, I often, unfortunately run into some people who they have home recording troubles and they it's like they've never had to troubleshoot anything in their lives and they're like I'm, I'm helpless I can't do it there are so many 
ways to find out and figure out your problems that you should never have a, a problem that just cannot be fixed. It's just a matter of how, how far are you willing to go to search for it and you know how many questions are you willing to ask and how good can your questions be that you can get the answer that you're looking for. So that's how to troubleshoot some tips for troubleshooting home recording problems. Go out there and make some great music.